Hey, what's going on, BFL fam? I'm Carlos. This is Oya. Hey, guys. Today, we're going to talk about 12 fragrances that you can find at fragranceslion.com that are good for the winter or maybe for escape in the winter, right? Mm hmm. Keep it right there. Brooklyn fragrance lover. Thanks so much for tuning in today. As always, we really do appreciate it and we hope that you're all doing fantastic. If this is your first time landing here at Brooklyn Fragrance Lover, I would love if you would consider subscribing to my channel. Go show some love over at All Your Bar. Then come back here, click on the bell icon so you don't miss any future content that I upload here to BFL. Fragranceslion.com. This is probably our fourth or fifth video. Yeah. It's a decant site that we use and we definitely have partnered with and are happy to because they have a wide assortment of fragrances to choose from not even just niche there are designers as well yeah why decant because if you don't have the money like most of us don't these days during this time uh you know it's hard so you can buy a decant and not commit to a full bottle of and course. and there's that these are not in any order they're going to be 10 fragrances that she and i curated together yeah and uh yeah Let's do this. You want to start? You're the guest of honor. All right, I'll start with. And one how of my beautiful is her hair today? Look at that hair. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> You're too kind. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna start with one of my favorites ever. This is by Nasomato, and this is Baraonda. So to me, this is basically taking a bunch of roses and macerating them in a barrel of whiskey. And I love whiskey. I'm a Scotch girl. Um, and whiskey. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so for me, this is beautiful. I think this is perfectly unisex. Um, I think a lot of men consider it leaning a bit more masculine because mm -hmm. of that Scotch note. But I really think that it will smell beautifully, you know, on anyone except don't, w you know, don't wear it if you're trying to close a deal because you will smell like... A little boozy. <laughs> I've learned to work, and I don't, it, on me it doesn't work really? as boozy. I mean, I get the boozy nuance, but it's not like overly boozy. Because I had some compliments where they were like, "Oh, so it smells interesting. Have you been drinking?" And I was like, <laughs> "Yes, my perfume." <laughs> Up next from Eccentric Molecules, this is Molecule 04. It's the sandalwood presentation. Do I have it the right way? No, it's the same thing. Okay, yeah. whatever. This is a 30 mil size. The bottle is inside there. It's really cute and compact. Now this is definitely a woody fragrance and it is strong. You can overspray this one if you're not careful. Definitely. <laughs> but regardless of that, it is really enjoyable and I like it in the cold. I love woody notes and I like oud and things of that nature in the cold. Of course. Things that I wouldn't wear in the summer and now it's time to start wearing incense and overly woody fragrances and sandalwood. I definitely would love to wear it for the winter. And layer it. I think this is a perfect layering one, you know, for any other fragrance that you feel like you're missing mm -hmm. that sandalwood on yeah. milk, that could be perfect. All right. I guess you're up next. I smell baronda through the bottle. No, I, I put it on. Oh! That's <laughs> when you were talking, I was like, hey, I didn't lose my <laughs> sense of smell. <laughs> So the next one is going to be something that I kind of was going back and forth about putting this list because mm -hmm. it's not exactly a wintry fragrance, but this is Bitter Peach and this is the newest release uh, from Tom Ford. It's definitely one of the ones that I love. I love it too. It's not for everybody. I think this is like the craziest, wildest peach and it even has this almost like a little plasticky component to it as well, which is fun because I think this is a fragrance that you shouldn't take too seriously. Um, because a lot of people were kind of saying, oh, but it's so plasticky. And, and I said, you know, I think that's what makes it fun. I think that that's what I like about Tom Ford, that he himself doesn't take um, doesn't take it too serious. And I think there are fragrances in a collection that are very, very polished. Mm -hmm. And then there's fun stuff like this. And this would be our getaway fragrance. Definitely. When we want to be reminded <laughs> of summer. Or if we're going away for the holidays or something. I don't know who's traveling this holiday, but... If you're lucky and you're, <laughs> you're right. actually able to, then spray this. I guess I'm the sandalwood guy today. <laughs> and the next one is from Diptyque. It's called Tem Dao. This is the Eau de Parfum concentration. They've actually reformulated the whole collection to Eau de Parfum. The it. ones that used to be Eau de Toilette. But this is when they make like the sandalwood list. This is always on it for fragrance heads. 
it's um it's not a loud sandalwood but it's woody and it's got cedar components as well and it's just really comforting there's something about that log cabin type of mm -hmm. feeling that is just a uh, you know I, I love a lot right, we love so. it that's what matters that's it all right i'm next Next one Ooh. is a bottle that I think you can like, this is this is some serious weight here. And this <laughs> is Electimus. This is a brand that recently made a lot of headlines and I'm sure you've been seeing it all over Instagram. This is the um, Amber Aquilaria, which is a super boozy, a little bit of like a comforous um, amber and it's a killer projection. Like Camphorous? I hope not. Yeah, it does have a little bit of that my minty camphorous notes to it as well. Yeah, it's interesting. But yeah. still delish. I, I love this it's one. It's beautiful. And on the skin, I think it comes down within the first, I would say, 15 to 20 minutes. And mm -hmm. that's when you're left with more of that boozy, slightly powdery, warm, very, like, it's almost like you warmed up the, the amber and it's like liquid in a bottle. That's what it smells love like. Love that. Love that description. You go, girl. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Up next from Christian Dior. So another designer. This is not completely niche. Niche? Niche? <laughs> <laughs> This one is Feb Delicious. You can't see because my light's too bright, but it is indeed Feb Delicious. It's a great almondy fragrance, tonka bean, and uh, it's just creamy and a beautiful gourmand that's not too loud, not too sweet, completely wearable, and you'll love it, and people around you will definitely notice when it's you like wear a dessert. Feb Delicious. Yeah. <laughs> it's really good. I love it. <laughs> I'm going with next one with Incense Avignon by Comme des Garçons. Mm, how my pronunciation? <laughs> that's another. That's another. I love this classic. one. I mean, it's definitely a classic. If you are into incense, this has church to be in incense. your collection. Yeah, because this is definitely one of those like clean Catholic church incense. Mm -hmm. Because like for me, I'm or Russian. even Orthodox. Mm, no, that was I was about to Different say because incense? I'm Russian Orthodox and we have a much heavier on the labdanum. It's like smokier and okay. darker. Interesting. This is more like cleaner incense. So I think like if you are into a little bit more of a, it almost gives me this kind of like pine tree direction, which mm -hmm. I feel like could be perfect for winter. So for me, this is perfectly versatile and so, so good. I believe there might be one that is... Uh because there's a series, the whole incense series. There's one for Japan, Kyoto. Then there's I a, there's a an, an Orthodox one. I haven't smelled it though. I wish I maybe I really need to get my nose on it because then you know brings me back the memories. But all right, so this one is a classic. I think maybe perhaps this is from Cree. This is Bois de Portugal. It is. This it. is a great barbershop fragrance. Perhaps a bit mature, but you know, listen, some guys, it, some guys like to smell, you know, dressed up or a little mature. I wouldn't say old man, but it, it, it for sure is a little mature. This is uh, for a CEO type in a suit and- uh, Oh, and you want to feel like it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Bingo. All right, I'm next. You and are. I'm next to with some dirty one. <laughs> so this is Pure Distance M. Should I take it out? I sure, let's it? take it out. Because my, my box is a little roughed up the, there. Oh, uh, this is the 17. Yeah, though. it can't stand up, so we'll have to lay it down. <laughs> Ding -ding. Okay, so this is what it looks like. It comes in 17 mil, I think. You know, I also, I have a 100 mil bottle at mm -hmm. home because I love this fragrance. And it's basically sex in a car, in Aston Martin to be specific. Whoa! That's what I think it, <laughs> it smells like. And I actually said that recently in a video that I filmed with Josie, which I have to edit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> But it's a beautiful fragrance. I think it's definitely a little bit on a on the dirty side because this is inspired by the interior of Aston Martin. But it has that dirty leather component, and this was composed by Raja Dove, so it's a bit similar in terms of um, fetish. The fetish is sweeter, in my opinion. This is a one for uh, people who are really into complex fragrances. This is not a simple you know, leather fragrance, yeah, Tuscan cool. leather or anything like that. This is like really complex and deep and full and it has a lot of twists and turns mm -hmm. that are enjoyable, but you have to be into that kind of over the top fragrance. It's definitely over the top. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like everything by Pure Distance is, you know? Mm -hmm. They make great fragrances, it's really expensive, but they have quite a few uh, yeah, modern spent. classics in there. For sure. This being one of them. Lastly, we have from Arabian Oud. These bottles don't like the ring light. <laughs> it's making the, uh, this is a 
majestic woody intense this is basically a very woody fragrance it has oud the oud's not od it's not over the top it's not animalic it's a wearable oud it's a uh, one that is very simple in nature just like Tamdao. it doesn't have a lot of bells and whistles and twists and turns and nuances of how the fragrance wears it's just simple straight up woody comforting masculine and perfect for the winter I think we're going to review this one together as we well. We did. <laughs> <laughs> so you can go back and also check out that review. All right, Miss Olya, always a pleasure to have you on the channel. Pleasure's all mine. And you guys, thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed. Thanks so much for your love, for your support. Go show some love on her Instagram and her YouTube. And as always, you know, come back here and watch my stuff. All right, you guys. <laughs> Until next time, you take care, stay blessed, and we'll see you at the next video.